Welcome back. Well, right now with us is our friend, our colleague in, in <laughs> journalism, uh, Jennifer Carmarker, Laguna Woods Globe. Good to have you here today. You know, we just showed that segment of um, with El Toro Water District, mm -hmm. and I had mentioned that I think either today or tomorrow they're going to check the state snowpack. The last time they checked it was on January 3rd. And I just mm -hmm. I just looked online and they ha there's no report on it yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were talking about it with uh, the gentleman from El Toro saying, you know, we're waiting on the next report, which should be. Again, it's either today or tomorrow okay. they take it. Uh -huh. So we'll get an update. And I know there's been a lot more snow just in this oh, last yes. month. Oh, yes. It's yeah. amazing what's happening yes. this so year. So hopefully maybe tomorrow we'll have some information on that. <laughs> Great. Okay. All right. But we do have Strummin' for Fun right here. Yes, that is uh, Craig and Carol Charlton. And Craig is the president of the Ukulele Club. Ah, uh, it's cool. one of the yeah, it's one of the oldest clubs in the village. Um, they've been practicing weekly here for 40 years. The hour and a half jam sessions comprise primarily ukuleles, along with stringed instruments such as the bass and slide guitar. Uh, Craig, president of the Ukulele Club, has been leading the practices for the past 20 years. You could say I've been installed for life, Charlton <laughs> says. The club counts nearly 30 members. There's no experience required to be a member. Anyone, including beginners, can join. The club doesn't offer instruction, but beginners learn as they play along. Many of the 300 plus songs played by the club possess Hawaiian influence due to the instrument's origination in Hawaii in the late 1800s. Charlton said he plans to step down as president in the near future, uh, however, no successor is in sight. He started playing the ukulele when his elder brother introduced him to the instrument 68 years ago when they were growing up in Iowa. He also plays the banjo and bass guitar, but he's taken a recess from both due to their large size. His wife Carol says she likes the ukulele because it's easy to play with its small size and just four strings. Craig Charlton's two daughters also play the ukulele and during family get-togethers the whole family plays. This is an instrument in which there's a great deal of pleasure, Charlton said. Just by being able to entertain family and friends, that's my reward. And in other news, residents filled the Community Center boardroom on January 26 to learn about changes coming to uh, TV6. Brad Hudson, Village Management Services General Manager, shared statistics of current TV usage and information on developments to come. Hudson laid out a seven-step plan for what is to come to TV6. They include a new name, improved programming, increased channel awareness, a modern station set, effective program schedules, and additional rev revenue opportunities and better use of staff. Hudson said it's a major upgrade over what we have now. We're really operating on a 15-year-old technology right now, he said. During an extensive Q&A session, the primary questions from residents posed were about adding sports channels, live streaming on the Village website, and adding bandwidth. Tony Barr, a host on the Trading Post, said he's excited about the changes. He said, we've come a long way from where we were years ago, and what we have now is outstanding from what we had to work with. And a Valentine to the Village will air here on TV6 on February 8th at 2 p.m. in the form of Love Letters. It's a 1989 Pulitzer Prize nominated Broadway play. Love Letters was presented on stage in the Village late last year by the Theater Guild, featuring professional actors Kate Jacobs and Ed Hayes, both residents. Last month, the production was recreated in the Video Club studio for a multi-camera shoot by the club's Video One production team. Directed and edited by resident Lucy Parker, the play will have repeat airings on February 14th, February 15th, February 22nd, and February 28th. So make sure to check your uh, TV6 schedule in the Globe. And the Cat Club has a, uh, has a couple of special guests at its meeting. Uh, Jim Warren, Animal Care Supervisor, and Alexis Hurwitz, Animal Behavior and Enrichment Coordinator, have over 50 years combined experience working in animal care and behavior modifications at facilities around the world. They will be presenting on nail trimming, cat behavior, and several of the adoption programs offered at Irvine Animal Care. Join the club at 1.30 p.m. February 8th at Clubhouse 3, Dining Room 2 for this special presentation. And 
If you haven't already heard, Third Laguna Hills Mutual is accepting applications for qualified candidates to serve on the board. The term will expire in 2018. To apply, visit the general manager's office in the community center to obtain an application. The deadline to apply is noon on February 9th. You can return the completed applications to Catherine Laster in the general, in the general manager's office. Uh, for more information, you can call 949-597-4262. And the list of honorees for the 2017 edition of the annual signature event fundraiser presented by Agewell Senior Services has been announced. Honorees include Patty Alexander, owner of Personalized Senior Placement and former Agewell board member, Frank and Ag Agatha Hill of Century 21 Rainbow Realty, Dr. Anna Young of House Call Doctors Medical Group, and Diane Modini, founder and CEO of Caring Companions at Home. The New York City themed event is set for Saturday, February 25th. <coughs> That'll be at the Ritz Car Carlton Laguna Niguel. And uh, let's see, Orange County Supervisor Lisa Bartlett, the 5th District, is the honorary event chair. Guests will be treated to sumptuous food and beverages plus entertainment and dancing to the sounds of vocalist Matt Mosher and his Frank Sinatra tribute band. That sounds like fun. There will also be an auction, party favors, and much more. For more information or to become a sponsor or to purchase event tickets, you can visit myagewell.org or call 949-855-855. 8033. This event helps support the Critical Meals on Wheels program and other vital services. And finally, if you're looking for some entertainment in the village this weekend, don't miss Dancing Through the Decades. It's a spectacular ballroom and Latin dance show choreographed by Dancing with the Stars professional Karina Smirnoff. Be entertained by great music as performers swing, turn, spin, and dip across the stage. The show will be Saturday at 7.30 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are only $5. So, sounds like a fun event. Yes, and um, I love this ukulele. Yeah. Uh, I think that's cool. <laughs> it's a really neat instrument. You know, I bought one when I was in Hawaii and I never learned to play it, so maybe I should come you sit should. in with them. I guess it's pretty, <laughs> To learn the basics mm -hmm. is supposed to be pretty easy, mm -hmm. but then to, re of course, really get good at it like anything. Sure. But I guess Take a lot practice. easier than learning a guitar or anything mm, like okay. that. Okay, so. I've tried and failed at that. So. Yes, <laughs> yeah, me too. I, don't, I think we all have. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Thanks and for the paper me. is available that you can uh, get one if you don't get it delivered right at the office downstairs. Yep. Good to right see downstairs. you. Good to see you, Ken. All right, we'll see you next week, and we will be right back. See, I think that's me. Yeah.